Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about probability of playing cards. In this video, we will be first talking about deck of cards. And then we will talk about a few interesting problems. Let's first talk about deck of cards. So in the deck of cards, we have 52 cards. We have four suits here, which are spades suit, club suit, diamond suit, and heart suit. So in spades suit, we have one king, one queen, one jack, one ace, and cards from two to 10. Total cards, total we have 13 spade cards. In club suit, we have one king, one queen, one jack, one ace, and cards from two to 10. Total, we have 13 club cards. In diamond suit, we have one king, one queen, one jack, one ace, and cards from two to 10. Total, we have 13 diamond cards. In heart suit, we have one king, one queen, one jack, one ace, and cards from two to 10. We also have total cards, 13 heart cards. Okay, so let's, so how many black cards do we have in deck of cards? We have 26 total black cards in the deck of cards. 26 is from spade, 13 from spade, so, and 13 from club suit. How much, how much red cards do we have from, how many red cards do we have from the deck of cards? We have 26. 13 from diamond suit and another 13 from heart suit. So what is probability? We already talked about this in another video. So here's a formula of what pro the meaning of probability. So probability is nothing but just number of ways an event can occur over total possible events. Total possible events can also be said as sample space. Sample space will be that we'll be talking about that in another video. All right, so now let's talk about the few interesting problems that we're gonna talk about. So let's first solve the first example. Probability of getting a spade card is 13 over 52. Why do we have 13 over 52? Let's find out. Why do we have 13 as our numerator? We have 13 as our numerator because there's, in, in spade suit, we have total 13 spade cards. That's why we have 13 as our numerator. And it also says in our formula, number of ways an event can occur. Why do we have 52 as our denominator? We have 52 as a denominator because that's the total possible events we have. And that's in the deck of cards. We have total 52 cards. Okay, so 13 over 52 can also be called 1 over 4. And it can also be said as 25%. Let's move on to the second example. Probability of getting a red card is 26 over 52. Why do we have 26 as a numerator and why do we have 52 as a denominator? Let's find out why we have our numerator as 26. We have our numerator as 26 because how many red cards are there total in the deck of cards? There is 26, right? So how many red cards are there? There's three from Diamond Sue and there are 13 from heart suit. And there is total 26 red cards from 
diamond suit and heart suit. That's why we have 26 as our numerator. And we have 30, 52 as our denominator because that's the, that's how the total cards we have. And 26 over 52 can also be called as one half, one, one half, or 50%. Let's move on to the third example. Probability of getting a king card is 4 over 52. Why do we have 4 as a numerator? Let's find out. We have 4 as a numerator because there are, in these four suits, there's total 4 kings, right? One king in spade suit, one king in club suit, one king in diamond suit, and one one king in heart suit. That's why we have four as our numerator. And four over 52 is also one over 13. Okay, let's move on to the fourth example. Probability of getting a red ace is two over 52. Why do we have two as our numerator? We have two as our numerator because there is, um, which here is red? Red. Here, it's only red here, right? So there are only two red aces here. One here and one here from diamond suit and heart suit. That's why we have two as our numerator. And Two over 52 can also be one over 26. Okay, let's move on to the fifth example. Probability of getting a face card is equal to 12 over 52. Why do we have 12 as our numerator? We have 12 as our numerator because how many face cards are there? There are three here, King, Queen, and Jack. Here as well, King, Queen, and Jack. And here, and here as well. So in all four suits, there are three um, faces, face cards. So there are four suits. We'll multiply three to four, which is 12. That's why we have 12 as our numerator. 12 over 52 can be can also be written as 3 over 13. Let's move on to the sixth example. Sixth example, probability of getting a queen or king is 4 plus 4 over 52. Why do we have 4 plus 4 as our numerator? We have 4 plus 4 as a numerator because why do we have 4 for it? Here. We have 4 here because there how many queens are there in these suits? There are four. One here, one here, one here, and one here. That's why we have four there. And why do we have plus four there? We have plus four there because there are four kings. One king in spade suit, one king in club suit, one king in diamond suit, and one king in heart suit. That's why we have 4 plus 4 as our numerator. And 4 plus 4 over 52 is nothing but just 8 over 52 because 4 plus 4 is 8. That's why we have our numerator as 8. Okay, let's solve the next example. Example 7. Probability of getting no diamond is 39 over 52. Why do we have 39 as our numerator? Let's find out. We have 39 as our numerator because here it's saying no diamonds. But how many diamonds are there? There are total 13 diamond cards, right? So we do not want any diamond cards. We want the rest, but no diamond cards. So what we have to do is to get the rest of the diamond cards and to find it out, that many cards, we have to subtract 52 by 13. We got 39. That's why we have 39 as your numerator. 
39 over 52 can also be called add 3 over 4. Okay, let's solve the next example. Example 8. Probability of getting not a black card is 26 over 52. Why do we have 26 as a numerator? We have 26 as a numerator because here, let's see. So how many black how many black cards are there in the deck of cards? There are 26, right? But we're trying to find out which cards are not black in the deck of cards. So which will be here, right? So which are 26 red cards. So we have 13 from diamond suit and 13 from heart suit. That's why we have 26 from 26 over 52. 26 over 52 can also be said one half and 50%. All right, let's review what we learned today. We learned about probability of playing cards. We first talked about deck of cards. And then we also talked about the formula of finding the probability. Let me talk about it once more. Probability is nothing but just number of ways an and uh, can occur, an event can occur, over total possible events. Total possible events can also be called as sample, sample space. And we also solved few interesting problems. All right, I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.